Okay, for the rest of you, while he's logging in to get to our replit, let me tell you about today's goal. We only have one goal, and yeah. that is if I minimize this window here like this, and I go to a different uh, section, it should mm -hmm. stay minimized. Once I set a preference on open or close, I want it to remember that even if I'm at a different website on a different page. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. So that's, <laughs> you, you think that sounds pretty easy, but yeah. um, there are a couple things that need to happen in order for that to happen very smoothly. We need to get some pretty advanced pieces in place. Um, it'll allow us to do high tech things like this in the future, but setting it up the, the first feature like that um, is, is actually kind of hard because think about what happens. If I want the, if I want something to remember that I'm keeping it this way, that means I, I need to communicate. I need to talk back to my server. I need to send yeah. a message and I need to do that without reloading my page. I don't want to like set, you know, like configure option to keep this down and then have to reload whatever page I'm on. So I need to have that send a background uh, notification, a, a background, it was called an Ajax request, an asynchronous Java uh, request, um, JavaScript request. And it's going to alert my server that I want to change that. And then I'll save that in my cookie data. So there's a couple advanced uh, uh, concepts going on here. Okay, um, I rambled long enough, Kyle. Are you in Replit now? Yep, I'm in Replit. Huzzah. Okay, so um, let's first see where the heck is this um, option happening um, that uh, allows me to switch back and forth. Where can I find like this particular button here? Um, this this button that expands and and bring that back. Any ideas? So we just have HTML. Yeah, base. Yeah. It's going to be in the base file. So, so let's go down to app. Let's go down to sidebar toggle. No, toggle. The toggle. Sidebar and base. And then, uh, yeah, templates base.html right here. Cool. How do I get rid of this window? Okay, cool. Um, all right, here I am, and I want my text to be even bigger. Setting. Mr. How do I get the uh, start site? Um, on REPL again? Uh, go back and hit that link again. Wait, oh. I thought you saw you were in this project with me. No, no I, I'm in REPL, but I don't see the project anywhere. Oh, okay, okay. Should I just try again? Yeah, hit that link again. Now that you're logged in, you should be able to join us up. All right, I see you now. All right, so what you nope. missed, uh, we, we're in the base.html. Right. So... You can see my screen to see what folder, uh, app, templates, and then base.html. Okay. I'm sorry I'm not having to talk with a cough drop, but otherwise my throat closes up. I'm still getting over something. Okay. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. So where the heck is this option? Let's, let's oh, sidebar toggle. All right. Uh, just found it. Cool. Okay. So ID sidebar toggle. Um, Okay, now, what does what does that do though? Sidebar toggle that doesn't tell me what it what's happening. It's running some sort of JavaScript code somewhere else. Maybe so I can find this. Yeah, why don't I try finding it? So I found the sidebar, the like block for the sidebar thing. I can this search it in the HTML. Um, no, in the Visual Studio code, like. There, so something like, okay. uh, is there a search? I don't see like an overall search function here. No, in the Visual Studio code, there is. But oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. I think line 43 is where the sidebar code is. Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to cheat. Uh, I, I know what, what this is happening. So uh, let's inspect <laughs> this. And I, I show, I'll show you on my window. So yeah. switch over to my uh, feed. Um, you can see if I expand it, you see what the CSS class that gets added by JavaScript toggled. It's 
it shows toggled if it's there. So if I open, it's it's not there. If I close it, it just gets toggled here. Yeah. Also here. Sidebar toggled and here. So if I expand it, sidebar isn't there anymore. Yeah. Okay. So cool. So all we need is to add a, a little bit of code um, to uh, not this, but actually up at our sidebar. So um, sidebar friend. Um, sidebar. And now let's let's try this. Toggle. I'm gonna add it. Wait, was it toggle or toggled? Toggled. 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 And then up here, body class. Um, body classes. I have a little block here uh, that's handy, but I'll, I'm going to do sidebar dot toggle toggle or toggle toggle toggled or both toggle. both toggle. Okay. Now here's what we have to do every time we make a change. I'm going to save it here. And then over here on GitHub, um, that's not, that's, I want GitHub. How do I, oh, here, GitHub. Um, no, that didn't work. Um, I want a bash window. How do I get to, to do GitHub? New rep. There's some, when I know there's an option somewhere to give me a version control file. Of, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, come on. I know there's a GitHub task window. Like, how do I update it to GitHub? Um, version control. Aha! Aha! Okay. So I don't, they don't want me to do it by text command. I did it once by text command, but whatever. Okay. I'll go to version control. What did I change? Um, stupid sidebar example, and then commit and push, kerplow. <sighs> connect for both of you, get out my connect it. That's not helpful. Um, lame. Uh, <sighs> Dude, all right. It was working before. I had like a little, had a little thing here. I mean, what's the? There's no point to this editor if we can't make changes. Um, so uh, I don't want to make new branch. I want to commit and push. It. it no. Why? I don't know why it's not letting me connect to GitHub. Oh. Uh, well, lame. This is super lame. Ah, uh, bummer. Um, so, um, how do I get a... Oh, hey, we can talk here. Oh, that's neat. Oh, what is what, what that? Like there's like a little chat here. Oh yeah. Workspace shortcuts. Uh, open shell. Okay. Control Shift S. Control Shift S. Hey, look at that. Neat. That is neat. Okay. Cool. I get rid of this stupid version control. You're garbage. All right. Now look. I can say get status. On clean manage. All right. Uh, so I can say. Um, uh, git add dot. Oh, no, now I can say, uh, git push origin master. Boom. And my username and my password. And Kerbal. All right. Cool, guys. Cool, guys. Everything is fine and dandy. All right. So now I pushed it. And now over here, now that I have updated the code, I can stop this. I can go... I can sync, I can use this button on Visual Studio Code to sync my files. And now my files are synced. And now if I run, 
I didn't need to stop it. I could have just synced it uh, and left it running and it would have automatically detected that. So now you see it starts collapsed. Oh, happy day. You see? <clears throat> no one's Stay acknowledging collapsed. that I did something great. Okay. Yay, good job, Mr. A. Thank you. I mean, adoration for my students is not that much to ask. Okay, um, cool. We got that down. Now, um, control shift S, it doesn't go away. It only brings it up. Okay, I guess it, once it's up, it stays up. Um, okay, well, I don't need it now anyway. Um, so what I need now is a condition. I only want this to happen, uh, this toggle to be here by default if that's set up in my, um, session data in my cookie okay so i'm gonna do another if statement here so if session dot toggled um uh equals true and it, you do have to specify equals true and not because it, if it's false then if i just had it something like this changer would say well it's there it, it's not that it's there and it equals false. If you just said uh, if session toggled, it'll check if such a thing exists, then it's then yes, even if it exists and it's false. Um, Jinja is weird. Um, Python's usually not that tedious, but this uh, templating system called Jinja is. Um, okay, and if. So now, if my session is toggled, then um, I want it to be, uh, uh, have this class. Same thing with this thing down here. Um, just, but I just put toggled. So if it's toggled, then, um, then add this class. Otherwise don't add that. So now if I save this and, and then I'll push it, I'll, I'll do, git add all, git commit dash m, or toggle tests, uh, git push origin master, and then, cool, now I switch over here, sync it up, cool, it should automatically reload, but let's see if it does. All right, see, it's open by default, is back to open by default. Uh, so now, how can I add um, a little note to my session data to keep it toggled? So let's let's uh, show you what that looks like. Um, so and then I'm going to ask you guys to summarize what the heck I'm doing. Uh, so be ready to ask questions if you don't already understand what the heck I'm doing. But what? Uh, check this out. Uh, so if I go to star. And I go to views. Now I'm um, actually not start, just uh, main views. This is uh, my home page is right here. So just as a flash, um, welcome. Okay. So I'm gonna say welcome, and um, and now I uh, do, 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 do what I'm going to do is. Um, session uh, toggled equals now how does it know what session is i don't know how does it know what the heck session is set what what, what? you mean what? session yeah what is session can someone tell me what what the heck is session why am I, why is Mr. Ray talking about session? That's like your current, I'm trying to think of a word that isn't session, but it's like your, your current time being on the website without yeah. going off of it. Exactly. It's, it's this instance, uh, this moment that we're sharing between me and the website, the user and the website is called your session. Um, just like if you go to a therapist, that, that time you're talking with your therapist or your doctor, that's your session with your doctor. Um, 
it's that meeting you had. Right now, this is our class's session. Um, it is also the cookie uh, that you share between you and that's encrypted using the salt in that private.py file. That's what that salt is used for, for encrypting our cookie. Um, so what one of the things that the salt is used for. Cookies and so, are always better salted. This is true. A little bit of salt on cookies, pro-level baking. And so uh, we can say, hey, I want you to add a variable into the cookie. Uh, Kyle, do you know what a cookie is? Um, I often see it in like websites, but I'm not sure what it actually oh my gosh. means. <laughs> yeah, every time you go to a website, they come up with that stupid banner at the bottom, right? And says, yeah, you have to accept. Like you need cookies. to accept cookies or something. Yeah, exactly. That, that is a legal. Uh, so the reason why sites have that is because if someone hacked their website and delivered and used a cookie to like send like an annoying uh, virus or something bad, um, you're at fault as the web host unless you say, hey, you have to accept this cookie and the risks that it comes with it. And also accept that we're putting a little file inside your temporary internet files. Um, so, so it's like a, like a contract? It's a little saved file that stores temporary data between you and the website for your convenience. Um, but it also is a little bit dangerous, just a little tiny bit dangerous. And because of that, websites make you agree that you're accepting the tiny little risk of using a cookie. Every website really uses cookies. So it's really hard to make a website that doesn't use cookie data. Um, so crouton.com. What was that? Crouton. No, crouton.net. That's funny. It's a site that just has a crouton on it. You got jokes, buddy. Okay. So I'm going to set this to toggle and I'm also going to flash a message just so we can practice what that is. But I'm going to set this session to true. Now, instead of being open by default, what should happen is that here inside my base.html, it's going to say, if toggled is equal to true, then add this CSS class to my body. And if toggled session is equal to true, then add this class to the nav bar. So, and I am setting that session to, uh, setting that to be true. Um, wait, how do I see my other windows? It doesn't keep multiple tabs open? Are you kidding me? Uh, looks like not. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's another minus point, minus point. Uh, I do like being able to work with you guys at the same time, but no, right, like this. it's pushing it, it's pushing it. Okay, so git add, boom, git commit, and git uh, push. Um, all right, now if I go back over here and sync the changes, now, and it's restarting my server, because it's cool, so now if I went to this page, it's still on that view file that isn't adding that session data. But if I go to the index, the index is adding that session data on line 21. And so if I go to the index, boom, it's, it's staying like that. And it also gave me a, a welcome message. Isn't that sweet? So I've got a welcome here and it's starting collapsed. Here's the crazy part. Get ready, Kyle. Because if I go over to blank page, is my window going to come open or closed? If I go to blank page. Open. No, say, all right, we're saying open. Nate? Um, yeah, I guess open. Yeah, I think it's open. Boom, oh. it's closed. But you said it to open. Now, no matter where, I, oh, I guess I can't do that. But no matter where I go, and every other page is going to stay closed now. Because- Did you set the thing to be like, close as the like original setting or something? No, or because just... it's because it's now 
It's saved Talk. my cookie data. Once uh -huh. I set it once, that's saved on my computer now. This mm -hmm. thing is set to true on my computer. And nothing is telling it to not be true. So it's going to stay true. And on every website, every website uses my base template. And since every website uses my base template, it's always going to check to see if I have this cookie data. And once I set it once, it's going to be set there for every website. Every page on my site is going to have that. So it doesn't matter if you're like opening it because nothing is telling the uh, cookie to. Right. It if I, oh, if I expand it, the cookie data, if I reload this page, it's still going to go back there because once I expand it, um, nothing is telling the cookie data to now be no longer true. Um, so uh, we need to set that up. Let's see if I can inspect and see my, um, my cookie data. Um, sources, da, 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 da. it should be a cookie data somewhere here. Um, I forget where to find it. Um, perform memory, maybe? No. It's somewhere here. Cookies, boom, session. Uh, so this is, is the session data here. Um, and uh, you can see it's randomly encrypted, so you can't see it very well. Um, so all of this file information is all secure. So I, if I wasn't encrypted, you would be able to see um, uh, session, I mean, uh, toggled equals true. So you'd be able to go through these details. Um, session storage, maybe I can find that somewhere else though. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it, but uh, somewhere in here, there is, you can see it happening when I get, so it's stored on my computer inside my session data that toggled is equal to true. So now we have to set up a thing that will allow us to be um, to be cooler. Um, and I need, so the, yes, I know what it is. Okay. Let's, uh, go back to Replit and it's just another route. So I'm going to say, um, define and I'll say, uh, untoggle. Boom. And if you go here, and I need to give it an app route, so it'll just be um, slash untoggle. And if you go to slash untoggle, then it'll say session toggled equals false. Now I'll save it. Add the change. Um, commit the change, push the change. This is a little bit gratuitous. Why am I doing this every time? Uh, I can just make the changes here and show you all, but this is, this is how much I want to show you guys. Well, okay. Uh, here it is. Now, if I start here, it's gone there, but if I now go to what's the URL, Nathan? Uh, slash untoggle. Untog untoggle or untoggled? Um, untoggled. Okay. Untoggle. I think it's untoggle. No, untoggle? it's untoggle. Yeah. That's a... uh. I'm the worst. Okay. Uh, I, you know what I didn't do? Um, I didn't, uh, you know, I'm just going to make the changes over here so I don't have to push it. Um, inside static. Uh, do do do. Uh, main views. So what I forgot to do is here, I have to um, return redirect uh, URL for um, Okay. So what I'm saying is um, set this, what uh, this error is saying is Hey, dude, you went to a website, uh, this route, 
and you didn't return anything. Every app route needs to return what do you want me to tell the person to do? You should like go to a website or something. And so instead I'm going to, instead of rendering a template and showing them my home page, I'm going to say, okay, set this to false and then redirect them back to the index. Uh, what index? The, the, the main index. Um, okay. So I'll save that. And now if I go back to this address, it bounced me over and didn't untoggle. It was supposed to untoggle. Is it automatically? It's not, oh, you no, don't want to do this. This is, it did untoggle. It successfully untoggled. Mr. A is a dummy. It untoggled. And then what happens once I go to index? It goes back to true. Immediately it goes back toggled. To true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is my fault. Okay. Um, so what I need to say is I need to check if there is a value true or false. If if toggled exists in session, don't set it back to true. If, if it's not, if you don't have an option true or false, then yeah, start true. But if it is, then I want it to be expanded. So what I'm, what I'm asking is, how do you check if a um, dictionary has a, a key? <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I ran out of a cough drop. Okay. So check key. Um, if key in keys. So I can use the same sort of thing. Um, what I'll do is if i'll use single quotes just to keep it consistent you can use single or double to have a string i can say okay if you can see a toggled value in session.keys so if you see it in there or how about if you don't see it if if you don't see session toggle, sorry if you don't see session toggle then give it a default value um and so it'll be it'll be true to keep it collapsed. That's my default value. But if I say untoggled, now it has a different value. It won't add that back again. Um, so let's give this a try. Um, so I reload here. Okay, it's set to true. Now if I untoggle it, untoggle, now it's untoggled. Go back here, and now I can go back home and it won't reset it. So I got it, but if I collapse it, it still does. It still doesn't. This collapse should update it in the background. Okay, that's our yeah. next task. So when I click on this, I want it to send an AJAX request to do something fancy. Okay, this is where we get into building some advanced stuff, um, oh. and I don't want to dump too much on you. I were low on time and I don't want to start anything more. Um, I just, this is a really big idea. There's a couple really big ideas here that we talked about. I built a new app route mm -hmm. and uh, I added a new value to my session dictionary, which is a list of data. Uh, a dictionary looks like this. If I want to make a new dictionary, I would, I would call it um, some sort of key name and then a value like five. And then uh, some like hamburger uh, is valued like cheese. Um, so this is what a dictionary looks like. It has, it has an, uh, a label for a thing and then its value. A label for a thing and its value. And the session is a built-in dictionary that Flasks that Flask gives us. Um, you can see I'm importing it from Flask up here. That's how I can access it. And Flask manages this co cookie data for us. And here I say, if I don't see this value inside uh, this um, 
if I don't see the toggled value inside my section a key, uh, all the labels in my dictionary, then set it to true by default. Um, but if I go here, I can update that value to be false instead. Okay. What do you think? Does, does this make sense? I want to go through, I would like this, this uh, data that this idea that we talked about session data and how I used an app route to, tr to change the session data and how I'm also using um, inside my uh, template base. Um, I also have a condition here to see if that is set to true and to, uh, and to toggle it. These concepts are new. Um, normally I'd give like a quiz or a challenge to see if you guys get it. I'm just gonna ask you to uh, tell me if it makes sense to you or not, um, one at a time. Nathan, what's your confidence level on these ideas? Not your ability yeah. to necessarily do it on your own, but understanding what I've been doing. Yeah, I understand what you're doing because you're explaining it pretty well. I understand cool. what everything kind of means, so. Uh, Brian, feeling comfortable? Yeah, I think I, I get it. Cause it's just like Kyle was saying earlier, a lot of websites do it, so. Yeah. And so what we're going to do next time, uh, well, let's uh, check in. Uh, Jeff, how are you feeling? Yeah, kind of gather. Yeah. Okay. Just, Kyle, know. you're behind the class. Uh, is this yeah. Sense? Is this making it, I mean, it kind of does make sense, but I feel like I won't be able to do it on my own. So. Yeah. So what we're going to need to do um, in order to make this happen on your own, uh, we'll need to yeah. do... Uh, one more thing, we need to let my JavaScript, um, JavaScript needs to be able to, um, it's two o'clock, right? And we, I, yeah, yeah we ended. Two. Yeah, we okay. about I still have time. 15 minutes. Um, I want JavaScript to send a, uh, a com uh, an update command to my session data um, right in the background. That's going to be a Monday. We're going to do that together. And then what I want to do next is make some other preference um, with some other session option, like, uh, I don't know, um, maybe like this comes, uh, starts as a drop down, or I'm not sure what other sort of preference. Maybe I can change the color of something like this nav bar, I can make it dark, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, just um, not the session data, but changing a color of something adding a new CSS class, and it'll be up to you to um, replicate what we're doing. And you won't be able to on your own, but, uh, but I'll help you less than, I'm, than just doing it for you now. And then uh, we'll do more independently later um, to see if you can do it all the way by yourself. Um, so that's what's coming up next. Um, what let's, we need to, um, in the last few minutes, talk a little bit about um, your assignments. Um, so let's look at it, Trello. And we need to we need to figure out. We need to kind of reorganize this a bit. I'm going to archive these for now. And uh, so here, uh, just so you guys can access this. Oh, I already pinned it. It's already pinned here. You can go to pin messages. You can see the Trello board. Um, so let's talk about what we need to do. Um, we, we built one option. Let's talk about some of the other things that we know need to happen. We need to start uh, collecting uh, um, images. We need to discuss our, how our database is going to store data. Um, we need to discuss some branding. We want to talk a little bit about like, what colors we really want to focus on. Like, when do we use the logo? When do we use certain background colors? Um, I want to talk through that. Um, and also, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> what other kind of tasks uh, we need to build? Um, like, what are the short, we need to, once I log in, um, 
what's my password? Uh, well, we need the we uh, do we already have like a profile editing and um, where does it do that? Right, I'm pretty teeth? sure because that's just like stuff that we did earlier in the year. Yeah, well, blank page and components should be hidden from everyone but the administrators. So yeah. hide uh, components and blank page except if uh, how about only show components and blank page to admins. Okay. So we've got set up the level of the account. Yeah, so there's just gonna be an if statement inside of our base template. Yeah. That. Uh, we know we need to get the favicon. And favicon. Um, so we're gonna need- Charlie to had one in the folder, I think. Yeah, so, so we just need easy. to add it up. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, and then um, uh, we could do a blog article, but I don't think we really need to focus on that. So, um, so components, um, blog and blank page for admins. Okay. And then the rest of the stuff 